My name is Diego Milano, and I'm the creator of Victor and Valentino for Cartoon Network. It was my grandfather who introduced me to the myths and legends and folklore of Mesoamerica. This book contains the research I've done on this strange creature around Monte Macabro. But it was my grandmother and mother who introduced me to really scary stories designed to keep me indoors and out of trouble. Now let me tell you the legend of that coyote. Weird stories about shape-shifting owl women that would snatch you up and eat you in their giant nest. The Chusa, don't eat me, I'm just bones. I definitely was Victor growing up. I thought I knew everything. I know, I know a lot of stuff. You don't have to keep explaining things. Oof. Valentino is actually me as an older kid. Whoa. Uh, but as the shows progressed, it's a running joke, actually, that with every episode of Vic and Val we record, we slowly merge until we will eventually become one. Whoa! The bigote. You're becoming a man! Abuela Chata, the grandmother on the show, is based on my abuela. Oh, niños, are you ready for my quinceañera? She's really, really sweet. But you don't know whether she's going to love you or yell at you. I'm very much looking forward to that moment. Someone lift it up! Okay. She's a great character because it reminds me a lot of my grandmother. She was a sweet lady, really good at cooking, very good at giving us advice, but don't make her mad. Hello, Charlene. There's definitely a Chata in my life. I kind of got her more second generation, uh, and I'm kind of glad because she was just pretty scary, but sweet and wonderful too. She's family, and it's like she always says, anything, anything for, for family. family. It's been one of the most beautiful experiences in my life as an actor. One of the greatest thrills each week for me is getting a, a, a new episode. The amount of talent that we have is really incredible. We do all record uh, together, ensemble cast, and we get to feed off of each other's energy, and it, it really enhances the performance. So, There's no other shows out there that explore the same kind of themes and the same kind of um, cultural history and incorporate it in such a kid-friendly way that's interesting. It's incredible to see all of that um, just on display in such a positive manner. They're made with, with such care and, and love for what they're representing. They start hearing music from the very, from the very first viewing of, of a new episode. There's such a, an amazing bicultural, bilingual element to all of it that it's, it, it's just seamlessly woven in. The obvious parallels are the folklore that Diego draws upon that incorporates into the show. The Chupa lives near Peligro Creek, where he feasts on animals as they drink water. All the interpretations always maintain the core essence of the myth folklore about whatever creature or location it is. Beware, the beast entrances with its gaze. What? I myself didn't see a lot of my own culture when I was watching cartoons. When you see something that reflects your culture or the way that you're growing up, it's so meaningful and you have something that feels very much like it's yours. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, but it should also include Latinos and indigenous people. You know, support their artwork, support their projects, support their businesses. Thanks, Sochi! Go be with your family. Extended family, too. Go grill some carne asada, play loteria. I win! Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Good job, Nino. Getting together with your friends. Yeah! I think parties are a wonderful way to, to celebrate uh, Hispanic culture with dance and music and food. My two favorite Ninos. Thank you. You're, You're welcome, welcome Abuela. Abuela.